Hello everyone and welcome back to the coffee break. I've got a very busy week going this week because I have carpeting being laid down upstairs and I have to do all the work to move everything out of one room into another so they can lay the carpet and then move it all back so they can move to the next room and so on. So we're doing a lot of shifting around of belongings and furniture and what have you and I'm doing it all by my lonesome. So it's a lot of work and I've been preparing for that for a couple of days because we have some very large pieces of furniture and I've been trying to move these things all by myself with just a hand truck and a furniture dolly and yours truly. And I have a little bit more work to do to get prepared for them to do that starting tomorrow. In any case, that's how I'm starting my week and I wanted to stop for a minute, take a break come and uh, have a good time talking with you all about something that I've noticed about myself over the past few days. And that is, is that I've been dreaming quite a bit. And I don't always dream uh, to the extent that I remember those dreams. Often I don't even think I've dream dreamt at all. And I know that we do dream, but we don't always remember them. And I know for me, I definitely don't remember them, but when I do, they're very vivid and unusual and uh, I always appreciate them. And I kind of wonder what they mean sometimes. And I wondered why all of a sudden in the past few days I have been dreaming a lot more. And I wondered how many of you out there have been dreaming a lot too. Um, you know, it could be due to your unconscious need to express yourself or dealing with stress or trying to deal with unresolved issues, etc. and so on. In fact, I went online and I did a little bit of looking up about why I might be dreaming more and a lot of it has to do with, you know, as you get a little older sometimes, you might sleep a little lighter and the dream state is in the REM, um, rapid eye movement sector. It's usually like in the early hours of the morning so that you can wake up from your dreams pretty quick and, and, and have a memory of them. Um, I'm sure there's a lot that can be talked about or discussed or, you know, about dreams and I don't want to get into it in depth. I just want to share with you my personal experience and observations about dreaming lately. Anyway, I looked it up and I found out that, you know, um, I'm going to read this to you, that when you dream, <coughs> Um, it usually means that you can uh, are having better cognition and uh, uh, better emotional health, uh, more effective thinking, better memory, and a better emotional processing because your subconscious is coming through in your dreams, right? And uh, one of those things that I mentioned already is that you might have unresolved issues and they're trying to subconsciously express themselves through your dreams. And I find that kind of interesting because I think there is a little truth to that. And we've certainly heard a lot about uh, dream therapy and um, how dreams can be interpreted and can mean things to people and in people's lives. In fact, quite frankly, they can impact our lives quite a bit if we pay attention to them because that is our subconscious trying to come through and tell us a little something. Not always. Sometimes it's just pure entertainment, right? <laughs> anyway. Um, but, I mean, if you look into stories, for example, that I know of from the Bible, uh, there's a character in the Bible, uh, Joseph, who had dreams. And a lot of those dreams were predictions for what needs to be taken care of, really. Not so much a prediction, but these are issues that need to be resolved. And uh, anyone who's studied Joseph and the amazing technical or dream coat situation with his 12 brothers and how he got dumped in a well and then ended up in the service of Pharaoh and then became a leader in Egypt. You know, all that started with a few dreams. And uh, in fact, I did the show a couple of times, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, years and years ago. And that was a lot of fun. And we get to sort of explore the dream um, impact throughout the show several times a week. And I enjoy that a lot. 
but I'm babbling a little bit. I want to talk about dreams today a little bit and what's been happening with me is that I've noticed that I've been dreaming and on Friday night, for example, um, just to show you how, you know, we can try to remember them, try to write them down uh, a little bit. Maybe they have some significance to us that might lead us to resolving an issue or just being prepared for the idea that you're going to meet up with something or someone that you might not have expected otherwise. And I was dreaming that I was somehow invited back to this church that I used to work at and there were people on the staff that were in the dream that I remember and I remember looking at one of them and thinking, oh gosh, I hope that they're okay. They don't look so good. And the other one was uh, the pastor. And, and I recall making eye contact with him in the dream. And he looked at me and I looked at him and I kept, throughout the dream I'm thinking, why am I here right now? Why are you asking me to be here? Because I don't work there anymore. <clears throat> and uh, I chose to uh, step away from that environment for all kinds of other reasons we won't get into here. <clears throat> but um, the point is, is that I was having this dream about something that happened uh, in my past, or not s specifically something that happened, but that involved people from my past. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Why was I dreaming about them? And do you know the next day I went shopping at a grocery store and all of a sudden around the corner someone pops around and says hello to me and calls me by name. And I look and I recognize the voice and it was the pastor. And I just said, hello, it's good to see you. And you know, that kindness was returned. And I thought, how interesting is that? I just had a dream about making eye contact with this gentleman. And he very clearly was in my dream looking at me. And all of a sudden, the next day, there he is standing in front of me. Have you ever had something like that happen to you? You have a dream or you have some kind of a little uh, twinge of premonition so to speak, where all of a sudden you're thinking about someone and then the phone rings and that's them. <laughs> you think about people sometimes and it's because there's a need to be thinking about them um, or you're going to run into them and, uh, it, and it doesn't have to mean anything great, you know, nothing specific. It's just that you, it's like you're aware that suddenly you're going to be uh, thinking about someone and there they are. So I thought that was interesting. And then I realized <clears throat> the next night after that, I was dreaming again. And I was remembering little aspects of the dream. Now, the one I had last night that I thought was kind of interesting was I remember <clears throat> sitting there and someone was asking me something or more or less telling me what I needed to do about something. And I just politely and kindly and calmly said, no. And all of a sudden that person overreacted and blew up and got really angry and in my face and down into my ear and uh, to a point that it was like they were telling me that I was going to have to do that and if I didn't do that these consequences would happen and blah 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 blah. And I thought, wow, <laughs> this person just exploded in my face <laughs> because I said no to doing something. and. I think that's interesting because if you're talking about unresolved issues, and I know that I've mentioned this in previous videos where I've had to say no a few times in the past couple of years and walk away from situations, and people don't like it when you tell them no and then you walk away from them. But you have to resolve those issues. Walk away and don't look back sometimes because that's you know, that's something that's coming from inside of you. You're making that decision of what's valuable to you in this moment. And if you support or encourage or condone uh, whatever the uh, event or circumstances are, and you have to make that decision for yourself. And when you say no to people and you're in situations like a job or a relationship, something like that, and they, and you tell them no, there's going to be some kind of impact there and there's a consequence and that's what was happening in my dream. But I remained calm. That's the subconscious part that I really liked about it. It was that I remained calm and I didn't explode right back in their face 
I didn't return one for the other, in other words, an eye for an eye kind of thing that way. And, uh, and I just thought, now that's an interesting thing to dream about because I've had that experience. And then all of a sudden I was dreaming about a little baby tiger and a little baby hippo. And I don't know what the meaning of that is, of course, if there is a meaning or a possible meaning behind it, but I was wanting to take pictures of them. And I had a tablet and my phone camera. And for some reason I was using my tablet and it, I couldn't get the uh, the camera to work except for video. So I was taking a few videos and then I was trying to grab the camera to take photo stills of this little tiger and this little hippo which were uh, kind of in the same company. And I thought, oh, and I couldn't get to them because they were the, uh, the people who were, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, I don't know if they're trainers or uh, people who maintain these animals and take care of them. Caretakers. There you go. The caretakers were taking them away before I could get my camera out to take a picture. <laughs> so I, uh, I don't know if that means I just should be better prepared to, to take that picture very quick because when it happens, it happens and then they're gone, you know. And I've done that a few times too. So I can see how my subconscious might play out in uh, a dream that way because you're, you see something and you want to grab a snapshot of it and uh, it goes by so fast sometimes you don't get to and then you have to sort of think about it on your own and make a note about it to remember that you saw it later or uh, to think about it later and what it might have meant to you at that time. So anyway, um, I had those dreams and I can see how they can correlate with my life and it's fun. I like dreaming because it's like, I don't know, watching a little movie play out. I've had some uh, dreams where I dream in full technicolor. I smell things. I feel things. The sensations uh, and my senses are quite alive in dreams sometimes. And um, I'd like to have a few more dreams here and there along the way instead of feeling like I go months on end without ever dreaming at all. But um, who knows if that will play out. <clears throat> Just depends on where we're at in our lives, right? What do you think about that? Have you had a lot of interesting dreams that you can correlate with your life and then you remembered them and then you could say, oh, that's what that was about. <laughs> if you do, leave a comment in the comment boxes below. I'd love to read up on them. And if you like this video and you have anything else you want to share, you know, give me a thumbs up and leave me a message below and don't forget to subscribe and share the video and hit that notification bell so we can talk some more later down the road. I'll be back uh, the rest of the week, Wednesday and Friday. I do post Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays every chance I get. And uh, I guess that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to share my dreams with you and a few thoughts about that without getting too uh, deep and involved with it. <laughs> but anyways, Tell me what you think, and I'll look forward to speaking with you next time. Until then, you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs>